Okay, so this is a quick video I wanted to make after recent news about the TF2 SDK being released, made open source. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial showing everyone how you go about installing. So here I am on the Source SDK 2013 GitHub repository. It does also have some build instructions in here, but I wanted to show it visually if anyone doesn't know exactly what to click on or do. There's also a few requirements that you need. So here it says that you need Source SDK 2013 multiplayer installed via Steam. Now you can either search through Steam to get that or there's also a download link here on the Valve Developer Community website. So I'll include all these links in the description as well. So you can click on this link and it sh it'll open Steam and run it. Once you've got that installed, you want to also install Visual Studio 2022, which you'll get from here. This link will be in the description as well. And you want to download the community version. When installing Visual Studio, there is one thing that you will need to install individually it's one of the optional ones so for all these you don't need to install all these so you don't need python I'm pretty sure the only one that you need is desktop development with c++ but if you want to be sure just select game development with c++ as well I feel like these two would be the ones that you'll need. Please let me know if there's anything different and I'll make an updated video. And what you want to do is, this optional file you need is in desktop development with C++. And you want to find this file here, C++ MFC for latest version 143 build tools times 86 and times 64 so select that in the options you can also do this after installing visual studio so don't worry too much if you miss it also it doesn't mention on here probably for obvious reasons but you need to install git so just download and install git from this site here now once you've installed all those I'm gonna go to git bash open that up and you want to run this command here now in git bash you right click to paste a bit strange but that's how you do it now i'm not going to run this but you just press enter and give it a while and that'll install the source sdk in the folder given up here so right now i've just got it on my my user look my user file so if you wanna change over to another install folder there's ways to do that you can change the current working folder in in git bash but the easiest way if you really wanna move it just let it download and then cut and paste the file to wherever you want it to be 
Okay, so once you've done that, you can then navigate to wherever you've installed the source SDK. Go in there, go to SRC, then you want to find create all projects. Now, just be careful depending on what software you have installed. You want to open this with Visual Studio. Also, so now open up, open this up in Visual Studio. It'll create this from the solution file, and you've got this solution, everything everything so this will make this file here everything so this has it's the file that Visual Studio creates okay so now that we've got all this what you need to do is first remember to select solution configurations as release don't set it as debug or you'll get an error so set it to release build solution that'll probably take around two to five minutes once that's all done you want to go to this one here client tf and you want to set that as the startup project and when you set that up as the startup project, you are ready to go. Just press this button here. And oh, look. I've got Team Fortress 2 running. So this will obviously be your modded client. Whatever you want it to be if there's any errors that you get while installing just leave a comment down below and I'll try and help with that although I'm fairly new to well I know C but I'm fairly new to editing with within source But yeah, since we've got the multiplayer one as well. Also, note that you keep your items. It has access to the TF servers. So we can also join servers. I'm not going to join one now just in case. I'm not really sure if the protection works in this. Probably not. So just be careful if you're going to join servers. And then when you close it again, yeah. So I think that's about everything. Like I said, any questions, queries, leave a comment down below and hopefully this video was a bit useful for you if you saw the news about tf2 and thought that this was the time to get into modding a game that's on its way out for the past 10 years but this is basically valve giving us open reins to do whatever so hopefully We'll see some great TF2 mods coming up soon. And I'll also be doing some videos or live streams in the future relating to looking through the code, trying different things, maybe maybe might make some tutorials based on 
you know, showing how you'd actually go about creating different things like a new weapon or a new game mechanic. It, it, the 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 amount of things that can be done now is so much more than any mods that you've seen before for these games.